Hi and welcome back to the channel. For the first video of 2024, I wanted to share an updated version of one of my more popular videos from last year and that is five outfits to wear on repeat in January. So obviously started off with my jewellery, same stuff that I wear all the time, but I will link it below as always. Um, so first look is obviously a winter whites look, which I love. Obviously, oh, there's like a little piece of string in those boots, don't even see that, like a thread. Um, obviously do not wear this look with the white jeans if it's snowing or raining outside, but on just like a cold crisp day, I think this is like the perfect look, especially with the chunky sweater and the white denim. I've added my western boots from Mango um, and then this stod bag that I got for Christmas. It is honestly the most beautiful bag for the price. I think it's under £300 um, and also $300 because I'm pretty sure stod are a New York brand. It's the most gorgeous leather details and stitching. Again, I'll leave a link for it below, but if you're looking to invest in a new bag, I'm obsessed with these just now and all of their bags. But yeah, so a uh, winter whites outfit. Um, I love the kind of cable knit, um, like off white kind of cream jumper with this. And then the different suede's, um, like obviously the lighter tan and then the darker brown. I just feel like it adds so much depth and it just makes like an interesting winter look. So this outfit here is probably my most worn outfit silhouette um, throughout the whole winter or from like November onwards whenever it's been cold here and it's literally just this mango coat which I bought on a whim. I'm not sure if I've shared it here yet. Um, I was going to New York and I needed a coat and I had to take back the cost one because it was just too big and anyway I wore this traveling and it's just become my new outfit so obviously a cap um brandy sweatshirt the bag is from anthro just that big oversized coat and then these knit uh, trousers that i know i did show you from uniqlo um i have a few pairs so i just like they have different colors but i love these ones and my flattered boots that kind of look like the roll boots and i just feel it is super kind of off duty but still pulled together and effortless and I wear this so much. And this look, um, another kind of similar vibe. It kind of gives me like Caroline Bassett Kennedy. I wore this in New York also. I wear it all the time at home. Um, obviously it is a good like kind of work style, but you would maybe have to either wear boots or change the trousers you could easily just add like a slouchy trouser or even like a fitted tailored trouser um but oh my gosh this and other stories knit that i got last winter it's like a cashmere blend i'm pretty sure they have it in again but it is gorgeous i've just popped on my adidas forum sneakers and my favorite ll bean ironic boat and tote bag um but yeah I obviously am wearing just with the heat tech leggings and then sneakers because I like that. It's comfy, it's easy, it's great for what I need to do. But if you did want to wear it to work or whatever, it's so easy to change. Um, so hence why it's such a great silhouette. And I just feel like it's effortless, but still put together and perfect for this time of year. So this next look is definitely more of an I've put an effort vibe, um, but still simple and easy. These earrings, oh, they're vintage um, Celine from the 90s and I just think they up-level this look so much. But um, I've just added socks and loafers, my favourite thing just now. These are just brown socks, my stod bag. Um, I love the light coloured denim contrast with this and then like a cashmere v-neck with a white tee underneath it. I've worn this so much um, throughout the past few months. It's still warm, it's still chic, but like just has like a little bit of an edge, it's a little bit different, it's fun and I've worn variations of that so many times. And for the last look it is these Theory Demetria trousers, which I'll tell you the sizing issue in a minute, but I've just popped it on with like a baby tee, 
and this me and m wool blazer that i love and these are boots i think yeah they're old top shop you can see i've looked at it um like years old top shop but i still love them and they work with the trousers so well and then obviously just my roll bag now this is like like a dinner look for me just simple easy fun but again you could wear this to work if you wear the right trousers and shoes just whatever suits your your lifestyle and um, but i love this kind of silhouette and which is the whole point of these videos obviously but um i love these dimitri trousers from theory but i sized up so i normally wear like a uk6 which is a US 2 and I like to be slouchy, not too tight, especially with trousers like this, like my effortless pants from Maurizia, I sized up. So yeah, I sized up in these and it was a mistake because yeah, okay, I like the slouchy look, but I feel like these would be long on someone who's 5'7 and I'm 5'4 and they just pull at the bottom. And as much as I do love that kind of 90s model vibe, and it can be quite like chic and effortless. I just feel like I'm not gonna get the wear out of these trousers. So I'm definitely gonna have to have them altered. So just a note, if you are gonna buy the Theory Demetria trousers, be careful on the sizing. But yeah, these are some of the looks I wear on repeat in January and I hope you enjoyed watching.